This is the Zota Gaming GeForce RTX 1590 Solid OC, a really well done GPU and today we are diving into its performance, how are, the, how are going to be the thermals, if there is an overclocking potential and some real world gaming tests. All right, so let's check what we have inside as well. Let's have a quick look on the box. Uh, as we can see, this is the OC edition because Zotax makes also a solid one, normal without the OC edition. We have three plus two years warranty, which is not bad. And here we have all the highlights on the technology used. iStorm, Spectra, Dual BIOS. We'll talk later about the uh, Dual BIOS, FreeStack, Firestorm, and so on and so on. So here we have some papers for the warranty. This sticker that you can put wherever you want. It is the GPU itself. We will get to the GPU in a moment. This is the GPU holder, basic, but seems well done. This is the RGB cable for syncing the lights between the GPU and all your lights. If you have RGB, you can sync, you can connect this side to your motherboard and this one to the GPU and you can sync all the RGB lightning and so on. We will get back to this and show how it works. And here we have the cable, the power cable, if you want to use this one. I would suggest to get cable from your power supply vendor and to use that one straight instead of using this one, because as you might know, also this 50 series have issues with those cable okay let's have a look at the design as we can see i do like this kind of design which is this gold finish with gray and also black uh, we have three fans of 95 millimeters uh, they're spinning on the same direction certain vendors they used to have two that are spinning on this direction and this one on the other direction but anyway it should dissipate the heat without issues as we can see here we have also this golden finish here some of you might like it some don't i personally like this kind of gold finish more or less and here we should have some rgb on what is the name and the logo here and here we have the connectors this is for switching into the bios between performance and silent i would have preferred to have a different physical button here because this is a clicky button so you are not sure if you are switching actually on which mode of the bios you are anyway and here we have the connector for the rgb so let me show you guys this side goes here and this one you can connect it to your motherboard or to other controllers that you have and then you can control the rgb lighting and you can sync all the rgb lighting looking on the back here we have also the logo and this kind of golden finish and we have here on this part this cutout for the heat for dissipating the heat some vendors again they used to have all this part for dissipating better the heat and in this case is kind of three small cutouts and here we have this which i don't particularly like because these are the cables for the fans and if you're installing this gpu in a play in a small case or whatever and this might be a problematic because it can go to whatever who can touch your motherboard or other components anyway i believe you can push it a little bit like so so yeah and here we have the ports 3 display port 2.1 and one hdmi 2.1 and here we have light for detecting if the cable has been connected properly underneath i don't know if you guys can see it but uh, you can see it whenever you connect the cable here there is a small light here I, it's green it's okay if it's red it means that the cable isn't connected properly so let's install this big boy and check some performance and some benchmark all right guys now the gpu is installed on pc and as the first thing before starting all the testing on the benchmarks zota has his own software for controlling all some settings on this gpu which is called firestorms when you open the software the first thing you see is the tab performance and we can see the gpu core clock the memory clock voltages temps and so on on this sub menu here when it's clock you can decide to overclock your gpu and then of course after applying some overclocking values you have to start testing and see if everything everything is working we can have the clocks we have the voltage limits and we have also the power limit which by default is 100 for testing we will leave everything as you see it on default and we will start testing with all the default values even the fans will stay and with the default curve as they are set it in the bios so let's have a quick look on this software as we can see if you click here on status you can check the status of the gpu we can see this nice picture here with how, how actually is the gpu core how is the gpu voltages and um, here you can see also some graphics about the clock or the core clock for the memory clock for the temps the voltage is a nice view you can have an, uh, really a lot of information also what's going on on your gpu here we have the fan curve so as we can see we have three fans one two and three and in this case is set to auto but you can choose to manually change all the values of your fans and you can choose also to apply a certain curve as we can see here and you can click on this three one of these three dots and you can kind of the speed you want to be applied to the fans depending 
on the temps. I will again leave it everything on auto because we want to test with the default settings on the GPU. And here we have the performance as we see with all these values. Here we have some lighting. If you want to apply some effects on the lightning, one I think is this sync lighting via motherboard header. So you connect that white cable to your GPU and then you connect it to your motherboard and you can you can sync it with all the effects and so on. Here we have some settings if you want to start up and so on. So let's check some benchmark. Okay, guys, here we have some results on the 3D Mark Speedway score. As we can see, we have a pretty high score. And let's go and check some GPU temps and performances. As we can see, the maximum temps we are reaching is 73 degrees, which is in this case because it's benchmarking the GPU. But in real gaming, I do believe you are not going to never have this kind of temps. Maybe in Cyberpunk somehow, but it depends really on your case, on how is the airflow and so on. So let's go and check also some performances in games. So let's talk about something really which is not amazing on this GPU, the price. Well, the MSRP for the Solid OC is around $21.99, but Zotac has increased the price and now you can find it on $28.99 or more or less. So this is really a big, big no if you are using this GPU only for gaming. If you're using the GPU for gaming at 4K, 8K or whatever, and most of the time you're using GPU for productive projects or whatever else you are using it, this is the best 
on the market that you can get. Let's wrap up things. The Zota Gaming RTX 1590 Solid OC is powerful, quiet, and also cool. Whether you are gaming, high-end gaming, 4K, 8K gaming, or even editing videos in 4K or 8K, this GPU will handle everything easily. So thanks for watching. If you found this review helpful, drop a like, subscribe to see more content like this, and drop a comment to let me know what is your experience with the GPU on if you are planning to get one of these GPUs. See you in the next one.